Good evening, Dr. Devanshi Nimba, myself, Dr. Ayushi Gaudani, and it's my honor to have you here in our little venture, Know Your Calling. Good evening, uh, Dr. Ayushi Gaudani, myself, Dr. Devanshi Nimba, and at the outset, I would like to thank Dr. Dheri Bhukhani for inviting me for his venture, KYC, and I hope that this interview is uh, helpful for all the experience. So dermatology itself sounds as a very sophisticated branch and it's the most sought after branch among all the uh, toppers also. So can you give us a little bit of general introduction about the branch? General introduction about my branch is like dermatology is very interesting and full of potential and an upcoming branch. And as you all know, skin is the largest organ of our body. So it deals with general conditions like uh, all the conditions including skin as well as hair and nail and all the highly and conditions like which are highly morbid and contagious like leprosy and sexually transmitted infections are also uh, included in our branch and during undergraduate period students generally sort of neglect our branch in postings which they shouldn't so till internship uh, generally all are unaware about the branch in detail so as a branch, dermatology is mainly diagnostic during residency period. If your setup does not have all the cosmetic and aesthetic patients, like in government hospital, maximum numbers of patients will be of uh, uh, core dermatology, like infective disorders and psoriasis, autoimmune conditions. So uh, if at all you have uh, lasers and everything in your uh, setup, but the patients will be maximum of uh, infective disorders and it is the few of many clinical branches which will uh, have good work-life balance so you can simultaneously practice diagnostic dermatology as well as procedural dermatology including uh, biopsy rf cautery and various all cosmetic procedures so the scope of Dermatology practice is quite extensive, I would like to say. Okay. So you are currently a third year resident. Can you please tell us about the life of a resident uh, and especially during the first year of residency? And what about uh, how did you cope up with all the adversities that you had to face? So as a life of resident, uh, your day generally starts with seeing the regular OPD patients. And you will see numerous conditions uh, right from... Uh, to acne, psoriasis, vitiligo, to the most complex ones, the one uh, which are connective tissue disorders like uh, SLE and systemic sclerosis, and all the congenital syndromes, which include skin manifestations. So at uh, many times, it, uh, you would be like in dilemma of diagnosis. When, so you will get uh, aid in diagnosis by uh, using dermoscope, which is a stethoscope of a dermatologist. And still after that, if the diagnosis is difficult, you will perform a gold standard like biopsy for a perfect diagnosis. And for first year residents, I would like to say that uh, maximum your time will be consumed in ward duties because uh, all the indoor patients in dermatology department will be of serious conditions like uh, drug reaction from Steven Johnson syndrome to uh, toxic epidermal necrolysis. It's just 10. And pemphigus vulgaris. Well, you will have to perform dressings and you will have to chart input outputs. So it is not an easy desk job as it is considered on the outside. I have uh, listened about your adversities. So about what about the positive note? What, uh, what also, are the I would like to add that you have to start reading from the very first day because you will only see what your brain already knows. So you have to be academically stronger. And at the same time, you have to learn communication skills, how to communicate with your patients. Because in dermatology, all the disease will have chronic course. So you have to make them understand that what is the disease, how the prognosis is, how you will treat it, and how regularly you have to come for follow-up visits. And as well as the residents have to be vigilant enough because all the autoimmune disorders will have immunosuppressants going on. So they have to come for regular follow-up and uh, the residents have to uh, tell them to do routine blood investigations to avoid all the drastic, uh, you know, very uh, 
severe uh, kind of side effects that uh, all these drugs have. And uh, during second year, residents will uh, get a hold on all the cosmetic and aesthetic procedures. And uh, further, you will get to know what is your area of interest in dermatology, like whether it is a core dermatology or whether it is uh, derm path and cosmetic and aesthetic uh, means dermatosurgery. And as uh, you get more and more uh, involved in this branch, you will get to know that how, uh, you know, how interesting it is. And uh, you will get satisfaction by treating the patients with cosmetic purpose because you will, uh, you know, gradually uh, make them uh, uh, get their inner confidence. About the adversities that you have to face, but on a positive note, what are the things that you love about dermatology or the things that you are passionate about dermatology? Well, I would like to say that what's not to love about the branch because it is a perfect amalgam of medicine, pathology and surgery, which is very much like, uh, you know, you get to do clinical diagnosis along with procedures, as well as there is uh, a different uh, kind of uh, love uh, for patients where you can follow them from starting from the very first day, the lesion is up till diagnosing it with either dermoscope or clinical diagnosis and then uh, further going on for pathology that is by taking biopsy you will look at the specimen under the microscope and thus making the diagnosis and then treating it with either uh, medical management or surgical management so in a way you are treating the patient uh, holistically means your uh, approach is very much holistic to the patient care and even during the residency you will get ample amount of time for academic activities. So you can focus on clinics and studies simultaneously. Very efficient. Okay. So now focusing on the other side of the coin, what are the cons of taking dermatology as a PG brand? It varies from person to person. Like what do you consider as a con? Uh, what do you consider as a pron? So every uh, one thing I would like to say that every condition in dermatology is uh, different. It seems different from uh, different skin tones and in different places. So there is no any absolute spotter for the diagnosis of a particular condition. Hmm. Means uh, psoriasis looks different on a darker tone and looks different in uh, skin type 1 or 2. As well as it is very vast and extensive subject. So you have to be very much in academics if you are interested in dermatology. And unlike other branches, the course of treatment in our branch is also chronic. So it's it's not that if it is fever, then you can treat it uh, with PCM and the fever results. The patient has to come for follow up. And if you know it gets lost, then you may not get the sense of satisfaction. It decreases if this happens. So these are uh, cons I would like to tell you about. It's quite evident that you are made of dermatology, made for dermatology. So what do you think uh, and whom do you think should take dermatology or what is the type of personality that should choose or reject dermatology? So who should choose? I would like to say that people who are more uh, diligent in academics and want a more casual, laid-back life can choose dermatology. And saying a specific personality type, I would like to say that type B personality, that is happy-go-lucky types, should take. And those who cannot compromise their sleep should take dermatology. What about whom should, who should reject it? Uh, students who are uh, less interested in academics and who are more interested in surgical work. They may choose something else. Other than that, I don't uh, think there is any uh, personality trait who shouldn't prefer dermatology. Now, going uh, on to the settlement issue, what about the settlement? As if in some surgical branches, there are uh, there is a long learning curve. So settlement takes years. So what about it in dermatology as uh, how many years it takes? Uh, what about tier one cities or in towns or in government setup or corporate setup or, or private yeah. clinic? People who want to go further for fellowships and academics, 
uh, they may take few more years to settle but again it depends on the candidate desire like some people will prioritize learning and honing new skills and mastering their subject further while some may prioritize work life balance and some may prioritize money so settlement duration may vary from uh, person to person but in general within 3 to 4 years average dermatologist settles and uh, telling about metro cities and suburb areas in metro cities majority of your opd patients will be uh, concerned about their cosmetic and aesthetic purposes whereas in town and suburb area it will be routine dermatological conditions and in infectious disorders as public there are not affordable for cosmetic investment but metro cities will also have its own con that uh, there will be more uh, you know uh, more competition compared to towns and there will be more quacks practicing over there and in uh, telling about government or corporate and private setup uh, practicing in government setup will help you get uh, more exposure to variety of cases as well as you will get hands on practice on number of different procedures surgical procedures that you can try and the feeling of satisfaction that you are helping the needy ones whereas uh, also you can pursue uh, research mm. and uh, teaching activities to your juniors and then mm-hmm. uh, corporate setup before uh, setting up a private practice you can take and uh, corporate uh, setup means you can go and join a uh, corporate hospital for better clinical practice and gaining more experience and gaining more uh, communication skills with patients who undergo expensive cosmetic procedures and you will also get to know how to handle different situations without the help of your mentors which are generally present in government setup and uh, for private practice it has its own benefits like uh, you will uh, you can decide your own uh, working hours and you can perform your field of interest like you can only perform dermatology surgery if you are interested in that or only cosmetic and aesthetic procedures and your earning will also depend on your skill experience and your marketing skills okay and uh, if looking at monetary benefits of being a dermatology you will uh, being a dermatologist you will definitely on a decent income but your income will ultimately depend on your experience knowledge skill and uh, how you communicate with your patients and at last marketing so it's really a wide scale you can put a number on and it varies from practitioner to practitioner so uh now going on to the we have learned about the settlement and also the monetary aspects so going on to the free time so what about the free time that we get in residency or about the, or after residency that is family time and as women as a gender we are more capable so of course we get more responsibility so what about a woman taking dermatology as a branch one of the numerous advantage dermatology has it's the mm. best work life balance even can have mm-hmm. and uh regarding female taking dermatology it is uh best for them because you will have uh, uh time for your uh, other responsibilities that you have so sufficient amount of time for fulfilling your hobbies and other uh, responsibilities uh, right from the starting that's from residency and also during after residency okay so what about the future aspects as if uh, many graduates are considering cosmetology as a course and what about the competition with someone who is not a qualified dermatologist or the saloon here and there that works in the city very good question i would like to say because all the dermatologists are concerned about this and on this uh, question i would like to say that quite and people who do short courses in dermatology they can't be compared really with a sub specialty trained dermatologists as we train extensively for a period of 5 to 10 years 
considering all the fellowships and uh, gaining all the uh, experience the difference in knowledge experience and the skill gap cannot be really made up by doing short courses without undergoing a vigorous residency training and as of now the future of uh, dermatology branch is quite bright as there are many newer immunomodulator drugs that are uh, you know considered as a milestone in the history of dermatology because the uh, conditions like vitiligo psoriasis and connective tissue disorders are having very much good prognosis with this uh, newer drugs that is a very good answer and a very good answer to other quacks also so uh, and there is very little awareness about the super specialty and the fellowships after dermatology uh, or is it an end branch or so can you please uh, throw some light it's on end branch but it is a never ending branch i would like to say because uh, after md or dmb you can uh, go for various fellowships like uh, dermato surgery or long path cosmetic as well as pediatric dermatology and the very famous uh, and upcoming branches uh, hair transplant you can go from hair transplant along with uh, plastic surgeons getting a hands on it you can also do it and uh, fellowships are uh, even uh, there in foreign countries where you can go to after giving their own examinations the counseling process of uh, neat pg admission would start sooner or later so what do you think a uh, dermatology aspirant should uh, keep in mind before choosing, choosing a college i would like to tell all the aspirants that you may ask that uh, what is the uh, workload of opd patients hmm. because you know in dermatology you have to see maximum number of patients as much as you can during residency because hmm. a patient is considered equal to 1000 books if once you see a patient you will never forget all the uh, clinical features and investigations you have to do for that condition mm -hmm. so uh, during residency your main focus should be on uh, patients only other than procedures it is well and good enough that if you are uh, able to do procedures and minor procedures should be done during residency only so that you don't have to do that after uh, Uh, you are uh, md in fellowships so maximum is a uh, workload of opd patients and also you have to ask about uh, academic activities going on at your institute because uh, i uh, myself is an institute where uh, academic is so strong that i don't have to uh, you know go for any video lectures after uh, doing residency over here for uh, learning any different conditions we actually read journals we go for newer drugs we attend regular cmes and conferences so you have to do uh, academic activities and you have to be stronger for academically in dermatology so dr devanshi it was an absolute pleasure talking to you um, i my, i consider myself very lucky so that i get to interview you and so uh, is there any kind of special message you want to give us as well as student academics and want a good work life balance would should take dermatology and should pursue it without any apprehension and also i would wish uh, all the best to all the aspirants and hopefully you get your desired branch and would be happy to see you on the other side thank you also uh, you can contact me on this platform if you have any doubts regarding the thank you dr ayushi for the meeting it was a pleasure